I think it might be helpful for us to spend a little bit of time looking at the economic part of this model that we're exploring in this exercise, um, which is shown here in the Stella diagram. At the heart of this, this model is the global capital reservoir here. This is essentially all of the money in the world's economy. And this grows through investment and it um, declines through depreciation. Now the amount of money that you invest is a function of a lot of different things, including the savings rate, um, but also something called the gross output. This is the annual um, economic output of the global economy. It also depends the investments on uh, climate damages that we have to pay for and on abatement costs. So this is the money that's associated with trying to reduce uh, carbon emissions. Both of those things will limit the amount of investment and then that will limit uh, how fast this grows. Um, so you can see how things that, that are kind of coming from the, cli the climate and carbon uh, part of the model, um, abatement costs and climate damages are affecting the global economic part of the model here. Um, a couple of other features to look at um, here. One is um, this thing called consumption, which is kind of what's left over from the gross output after you take into account um, climate damages and abatement costs and the investment. So this is money that is um, going to pay for goods and services, education, health care, research, all these kinds of things that, that provide a measure for the, of the quality of life. And if we take that consumption um, and divide it by the population, which is growing over here in this part of the model, that gives us the per capita consumption. And so this is going to be a, a good thing for us to look at um, that will give us a measure of, of um, you know, what are the economic consequences of making some policy decisions about the economics, the emissions control rate here, and maybe even sigma here. This is something that represents how efficient we are in um, using our, our money from the economy um, and to generate energy. And so at, as we become more efficient, then our emissions are going to go down. Um, anyway, so this is the this is the heart of the economic part of this model, and um, you're not going to uh, fiddle around with too many things in this model other than this emissions control rate here. We're going to just let the model calculate all these other things and and not worry about them too much. But hopefully, this gives you a little bit better idea of what's going on behind the scenes as you push buttons and and tell the model to run.